welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions this is the first of the nano not really vlogs more like updates i don't see the point of a writing vlog i i get what you do in a reading vlog like you read and you talk about what you read but i can't really talk about what i've written so this will be just a shorter update video after week one now i'm not sure if anyone who watches my videos does nano or is a writer at all but I have been really enjoying the videos that other writers have been uploading so I really wanted to do one. This is just going to be a general update because I do not have the routine <coughs> pardon I do not have the routine of just sitting down and writing every single day. That is not how I work. That being said once I do sit down I will not be getting back up unless something very urgent pulls me out of it so both of the days that i sat down to write i hit i'm rounding it to thousands because i don't count i don't really feel like counting so it's like i'm rounding it up first time i sat down it was like seven thousand words the second time it was eight even closer to nine but i rounded out at eight i also which is a big milestone for this other work in progress crossed finally a hundred thousand words and nano really kicked that into gear but i am only mentioning word counts because that is how nanorimo functions but i never track that in my writing i have never once looked at words it's more of a sign i guess how big your book is gonna be because it all depends on the font and the spacing so really you can't count it by page number the word count makes more sense but i do neither i am nowhere near done with this book <laughs> and that was scary to me at first but also i started this work in may and now it's the beginning of november and i crossed a hundred thousand words so i think that was very very good progress i am very happy with that and i think i managed to do a lot for this first draft it is a mess and a lot of it will need to be either cut or rearranged or added to and I am not looking forward to that process but right now we are on the first draft and I'm just writing as I feel like it like I obviously have an outline I have an outline for all six of the books but there are many points where I know how a scene is supposed to end I have no idea how to get there so that will be the beginning of this update i will try and divide it into some categories so it's a bit more organized but this will not be a lengthy video anyway i hope you enjoy if you're in interested in writing at all now i understand people usually call their projects something and i do too but not like project something i always give it a name but i don't think it will be the final name i called this one like weaves of woe because it sounded cool and i could sh i could shorten it to wow that just that was just so funny to me that will not be the the title so i am telling it to you so when i say when i'm working on weaves of woe you know what i am referring to although that is a tongue twister now that i actually said it but the first thing that i will talk about is character progression now the only thing i'm focusing on for the moment is characters so the people that i've asked to read the first draft i only want their feedback on the characters if any of them are flat if any of them are out of character all of a sudden if any of them are being brats honestly i just want everything about the characters this time around because this one i won't say it's not plot focused because i love creating fantasy worlds and how they work but it's definitely more character focused than the other than the other book that i'm writing so i only need feedback on the characters if the romance is unrealistic if someone's annoying at some point they i would like the feedback and then maybe explain if they're annoying for a reason or if they're not annoying for a reason so i could correct it i would say i'm at a good point with the characters <laughs> a very decent one but ironically i am realizing that my favorite characters to write are the ones that I created unintentionally like <laughs> two of my favorite characters as people I created like 
on a whim, came up with their names on the spot because the scene required them, and now they are literally my favorites. I love all of my characters, but I don't know why. The accidental ones just like muscled their way into the story and climbed out of my head. So I do have a special place in my heart for them, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, one of them is a mentor of a sort to one of the main characters and the other is the best friend of the main girl character and she's an icon <laughs> and I literally love her every time she shows up on page I am just so happy I know a lot of writers say that you you are in control of your story and I agree nothing can happen without my knowledge but sometimes you're the little bug in your brain just spews things out onto the page that you didn't necessarily intend and that's what I think happened with these two they just jump out as soon as I start writing them they just jump out and I didn't even intend for them to exist one of them when I came up with her I wanted to kill her and I already had a plan for how but then I realized with time that I love her too much so that will not be happening <laughs> I can say this now no one will probably remember what I'm talking about when it gets published or even know that it's mine, so it doesn't matter. I can talk vaguely. I wanted to kill her, but now I will not. I just love her too much. It is not going to be happening. I would never want to hurt someone like that, least of all me. And I am having a bit, <laughs> a bit of trouble with the romance bit because I love subtle romance, like very almost platonic romance like Darcy and Elizabeth and Gilbert and Anne where like a hand touch is a big deal and I've written a lot a lot of romance fan fiction just for me so I know it caters to me but the issue is if it caters to anyone else there is someone out there who has the same taste as I do I'm sure but it's very hard writing an actual book you're going to publish and knowing which line you can cross, if that makes sense. So that's been a bit of a struggle because I love the scenes because they are to my liking and to my preferences. <laughs> but they might not be to anyone else's and we will have to see about that. That's it for the characters. I have nothing else to say and let's move on before I start rambling. I forgot to start. Now the honey is just non-existent. The next part is plot progression. Now, I don't have much to talk about here because no spoilers or details, obviously. But I will say that plot is one of the most difficult things when you're a fantasy author. I feel like everyone who is a bitch and makes fun of fantasy like every single literature teacher ever they think it's not real or whatever. It is the hardest, the hardest genre in its own right. Like everything is difficult. Some things are arguably easier, but in the example of fantasy, it is so difficult <laughs> to create a world from scratch. Don't get me wrong, I love doing it and probably everyone who writes fantasy enjoys it or they wouldn't be writing fantasy, but with other books, there's this aspect of it's real and you don't have to mess with it. Even science fiction, they base it on something real, on something they know. When you come up with a world, you have to think about everything, about the politics, why there's a mountain there, how long it would take to get from place to place, why this ruler is behaving this way, why there are dragons, why there are not dragons. I have to come up with rules for everything. And even though it's fun, it's exhausting because I know that I will never come up with every single detail and someone someday will point something out to me and I will just scream in bloody anger because someone pointed out that this river wouldn't technically flow into the sea because geology or whatever, I am very, that's probably my only pet peeve about writing, someone pointing out something about the world building. But at least with fantasy, you can always say, this isn't science fiction. <laughs> this isn't science fiction. If I want the river to just 
go through the mountain and straight to the sea, then that is my business. If I want gravity to be upside down, then that is my business. This is fantasy. There are dragons. Everything I say goes. That is one excuse, but of course it can't be stretched infinitely. And another thing about plot that definitely bothers me a little bit is what I mentioned earlier. And that is when you have an outline, but you don't know how to get to certain points, it is painful. It is literally painful. I sometimes get into the groove of it and I'm writing a scene and I realize that I have no idea where I was going with it. Like no clue what I wanted to say at that point. And I just look at the page and I'm like, what are you people even doing here? I was going somewhere with this. <laughs> I just start rambling. So yeah, that is a bit of a bitch of a process, but that's what the first draft is for. Thankfully, <laughs> that's what the first draft is there for literally but some of the scenes I have to look back on for certain names that I forgot because I come up with names on the spot a lot of the time don't write them down so I need to find it again which can be a bit difficult but yeah plot can get away from you I feel like it's easier to get away from you than the characters because you know the characters you know how they would react in certain situations but the exact issue is that you don't know how to get to certain situations. <laughs> there we go. There's the honey. I will try and be quick because this is turning into a ramble. I do not want it to be a long video. Now, next thing that I imagined is motivation. I don't usually try and motivate myself. I just write when I feel like it. But now that it's NaNoWriMo, I, again, don't really participate the way I should but I make myself write more than I would if it wasn't NaNoWriMo, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I just make myself sit down and okay, just start writing and then I usually sit there for the next seven hours. But aside from that, it has been helping. Like it really has been helping. I did in two sittings, I did like 15,000 words and that's definitely very good progress. So for motivation, I don't really know what to tell you there. I feel like everyone has very different motivation. And mine is that I love being in my world so much that I just shouldn't postpone it to escape into someone else's. And that has kind of been helping me. And NaNoWriMo as an excuse, I don't know. I just see all these people writing and I kind of feel inspired to write too. I don't really feel pressured, but I definitely feel inspired. I just... I could see a video of someone typing and I will just sit down at my desk and be like, excellent, this is just what I needed. Now, in terms of milestones, there are several. I hit 100,000 words. I crossed, I'm almost to page 200. Not that it matters, but it kind of does aesthetically. aesthetically. <laughs> and more important plot milestone is that I finished part one of the book, like the first half of the book. And I am, I don't know, like 40 pages into part two. It's been going well so far. I introduce a different point of view in part two. And I think it's going to actually work really well in this case because I feel like it's just, <laughs> it's just very fitting. And of course, the thing that I'm struggling with is definitely, this is the last aspect, but my phone is going to die. The thing that I'm struggling with is for sure the fact that I'm sometimes stuck. In any case, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was fun for you in some way at least and that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you would like more updates, maybe actually a writing log, maybe a bit more details about the story and in any case, I will see you in the next video. Enjoy NaNoWriMo if you are writing. If not, just wish me luck. I guess I'll see you in the next video.